Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, so today, I am very excited for this video actually. As foretold by the title, we will be doing the um, what's in my chest video, which I promised you guys in my last video that I would probably do it. So I'm getting around to it and I'm really excited because I will be showing you guys some very intimate details, very intimate memory. Uh, oh God, I forgot to say. Um, do not look at me as if I'm wearing like chocolate on my face. Um, I'm allergic to a cream that I've been using. Um, and it just, it gave me a really bad. Ignore my mother. So as I was saying, I, I am allergic to a cream that I've been using. So it's just making my skin react really badly. But I didn't feel like putting on makeup, so we just won't deal with it. I really feel like I had a lot to say. Anyways, so. Okay, oh god, guys, I'm like all over the place right now. So. Anyways, let's get into the video guys. So give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. I promise you we are in for a full ride of a lot of fun and adventurous moments. So let's get into the video. she hot glued this little cloth here but I told you guys that I loved um, Eiffel Tower kind of French theme so it was my theme for my quince and it's kind of the theme of my room which I I love so okay so first item is Smith's quince or Miss quince I'm not sure what that says but this was one of the posters that I had um, on what are those things called Sasha those easels are they called easels this is on an easel I don't know if I'm saying that right but it was on an easel and it was kind of like a, a show um a show piece and I kept it because it was just I love it oh and then this this is my most favorite thing guys okay Literally everyone at my, well, maybe not everyone, but most of everyone at my quince signed this heart. And it is actually on here too, but he's in indivis, indivisible Stupid. marker, so nobody can see him. You said my name? Oh, and I did here, guys. Hello. Hello. I can't. <laughs> but yes, everyone at my quince signed this thing, and I... It would, they had such nice things to say. Um, for example, um, a brother and a sister from church who aren't here anymore, they wrote down Matthew 6, 33. Live by it and God will place you in high places. And then they said, we love you and happy birthday. So it was just a really sweet thing that I had at my quince and that I keep. Okay. Um, so next I have my umbrella. Guys, this was so cute. Um, my mom, I think, ordered these for all of my court girls. So, along with their purple dress, they had a purple umbrella that they carried. And it just, 
It fit the theme so nicely. Sorry guys for Sasha. She's very interested in what's in this chest. But I just wanted to show you guys that because I thought this was super cute. Now this was a gift from my quinceanera. I'm 17 years old, guys. This was two years ago that I was given this gift and I still haven't opened it because I love how it looks. Like it's a, a cage and it has creams and perfumes and lotions and body washes and a little soap in the shape of a duck. It's so, I love it. It's a, it's really adorable. But I don't want to open it because I don't want to ruin how it looks. You ever been there? Like, you have something, you don't want to open it because it just looks so good in its packaging. Next are pictures. I'm a really big picture girl. And I love the fact that my mom likes to do photographs in photography because that means that we get a lot of pictures. Now, I'm going to show you some pictures that I got from my quince. You guys already saw the one that I have on my lights over there. I'll insert a picture of the photograph I have hanging on my lights um, around here in this area. Now, this was me. This was me singing. And I, I looked so happy. I felt happy like that. I so I was dreading my quince for a couple for a couple days beforehand. It just nothing was going right for me, so I was dreading it. And then I just got there and I felt so happy. This is another picture when we were praying, and I think it's so pretty. This is me and my dad pulling up. And the dress, guys, the dress had to be cut because it was too long. And then it had to be cut again because it didn't fit the corset um, that I had underneath it. It was like a cage dress to make it look fuller. It didn't fit that, so we had to cut it more so it fit that. And then on top of that, the dress was a little bit see-through in the cleavage area. So we had to sew pieces of my dress up there. And then it was a little bit crooked. It, it was just funny because the dress was beautiful but ridiculous. And then you'll see me like struggling. I don't know if you can see that. But I'm like struggling. You can see it all in my face. This is me sitting. And that's me in my full gown. Sitting with lights. Now, this was my idea. Um, I had dedicated 15 candles to, um, I, w I don't want to say specifically like individuals, but like groups of individuals. Um, 15 candles to 15 people that I thought were always in my life, always taking care of me, who I could really trust in my life. And it was just... This one made me cry and everyone else. And that's just the candles itself unlit. Then this is a picture of me dancing. It's a little bit blurry. But the song that we did was Worth. And I think it was by Marvin Sapp. I don't know. I'll If it's not, I'll make sure to tell you guys. But I'm pretty sure it was Marvin Sapp who sang that song. And the boys. The guys did a, such a good job with with their dance. Their dance was Oceans, and it's by Hillsong if you don't know, but their song was Oceans, and it was so cool how they just brought it together. And then this is the court without me. And I think that's what I have for so far. This is another picture of me singing. And then this was a picture of my feet. So when you're, if you've done a quince, you know that the girl normally goes in um, basically with just the dress and her makeup on. Because she did, I, well, I didn't wear any earrings. I didn't wear heels. I didn't have any kind of jewelry on. My hair was very simple um, because I didn't even have the headpiece or the tiara on. So when a girl goes in, she goes very simple because she, 
you want this you want this feel that a little girl is walking in and a young woman is walking out so i was walking out real in really plain so i could come out looking like a queen <laughs> and these are the shoes i changed into um you're gonna see that as i go through all of this i have a lot of pictures from when i was little with my brother um pictures when we went uh walking in the streets for like evangelism but moving on i have kept uh birthday cards letters um greeting cards everything from my quince and kind of that whole entire year that whole entire year was it was a mess but it was so sweet like it was weird um i was a Sunday school teacher for little kids and they all wrote me a thank you letter which was so cute um let me read you guys some so one of these says I love you because you are so nice I love you <laughs> um so it was so it was so sweet this one says thank you Karina for everything you've worked hard we love you, Karina. It was, they're so cute. I love them. Literally, all of the letters I got. This letter was actually from a really close friend of mine who, he had been going through a really hard time. Um, and his rebellion kind of sent him to juvie. And he wrote me some letters from there. We talked back and forth and it was, it was really nice to get these letters from him and to receive letters uh, on his part. Um, so when he came out, he knew he had people to go to. And I keep, I kept all his letters. And no, it's not anything of romance. It's just a brotherly relationship that I had with him that I'm very thankful for. Okay, so next I have like these little gold medals. So before COVID, School was normal and we had concerts in which I would receive medals from NISMA or BCMEA. All of the medals are kept. Like look up close. This is what it looks like up close. And it's just a nice touch on behalf of the school. Okay. This whole bag is filled with lotions, body washes, bath bombs, perfumes, and they're all in really cute packaging. And I just, I don't wanna open it because it looks really pretty. So I have a bunch of these. If anybody needs something, I got it. Oh, I have more. This is from Christmas, this Christmas actually. And guys, I keep everything. I'm like a hoarder. I've been trying a little by little like get rid of stuff, but it's not as easy as you think. So my mom actually painted this. And for a lot of people, like you don't really, you would think, oh, what is that blob mess? But if you look really closely, you can actually see the shape of a vase. It's like a hidden figures kind of thing. And I really liked it. The thing was it broke like up here in this area, I don't know if you can like see my nail or, you can't see my nail, but I wasn't able to hang it up anymore. So I put it in my chest and I just, I like how it looks. I don't know why I have this in here. Ooh, okay. So the next thing I have is these. So these are little books. So Angie and I, we have been in the same Spanish class, I wanna say two years in a row, and we always did our projects together. So this project took us all night because we're procrastinators. <laughs> and I just want you guys to see how cute these books are. He didn't want his, I don't know why he didn't want his. I thought it was too cute to throw away. Look at that. And these are hand drawn, hand cut, hand written. This is my book, by the way. 
And this is his. His is huge. He used a binder. And these are his hand drawings. <laughs> his hands. His wrote written words. Can you hear him? He's like talking in the back. More creams. So, which is funny because I'm always asking people for lotion. So now that I know I have this. Guys, I have not been in this chest for a couple weeks. I usually go into it a couple, like at least once a month to add something or to take something out. These are literally every picture ever taken in this family together. Well, actually not this. So this actually came from my grandpa. Um, I call him Papa. So he gave me this when I want, I want to say I was like eight maybe when he gave me this. And he was still pastor uh, at that time. And I would spend, I would spend a lot of time with Papa in his office. And I always remember, I would walk in every Sunday morning, I would unlock the door, take out his briefcase, briefcase, unlock his briefcase, take out his message and his Bible, have those nice and neat placed on his desk. Then I'd go to the kitchen, and if we weren't fasting, I'd make him a cup of coffee. If there was sandwiches or something for breakfast, I'd get that on a plate and put that next to his stuff. And everything would be perfectly ready for him by the time he came downstairs to do his studying for that day. Or for that Sunday service. And that's kind of a memory that is always with me. There's no, there's no getting rid of that memory. And he'd come in, he'd say, thank you, mama. Then he'd sit down. We'd talk a little bit. And every then I'd sit right across from him. So his desk is right here. He had chairs right there from his desk. Sat right in the middle chair and just watched him. And he'd look up and he'd say, wow, que linda. Oh, wow, tu te ves bien bonita. And things so sweet like that. And he always made me feel special. And anything I wanted, I could basically have. So I wanted this, and he let me have it. This was my graduation invitation. And I was wearing a marching band suit. That was when my hair was way longer. So I've been cutting my hair. Oh, I also forgot to mention, yes, I didn't dye my hair, but I stripped it, stripped it of its color. So if you're wondering why I look different, that was why. And all of this is mostly just a bunch of pictures. Now the last thing that I want to show you is, I think it's the last thing. Yes, this is the last thing. It is the most important out of everything that is in this, this uh, chest. My beautiful chest. Guys, I danced so much. I have not washed this dress. It has been the same way since my quince. But I don't want to wash it. It smells good. It just is a little bit stained at the bottom. But I just, I don't want to wash it. And this is the exact package it was in when I got it for the very first time. So this is all the beading in the diamonds. And this is how long it was. So, if you know me, I'm 4'8". That's my height. This dress goes over my height. And then this is the back. And it was just so beautiful. I imagine myself, you know, giving this to a possible daughter or a niece or something. So, I just don't want to throw it. Okay, guys. So... That is it for this video. Um, it was quite a lot of stuff. I didn't actually think I had that much stuff. If you stayed this long, um, I want to say thank you <laughs> because it was a lot of stuff. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And funny, funny fact, not fun fact, but funny fact, this video is going up today. <laughs> so...
the same day that I'm filming is the same day I'm going to be uploading. So I'm hoping that you guys will enjoy this. And I got to get right into work because there's a lot of editing. But I will see you guys in my next video. Have a very blessed day. You got it?